What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Backwoods and today we're going to be saving money by maintaining the teeth on our John Deere 27D excavator bucket. Let's go! <laughs> Today we are going to uh, be maintaining the teeth on our excavator. Um, a lot of times the teeth wear out and people will just buy new ones and replace them. But instead today I'm gonna show you that you don't need to buy them new every time unless they're broken, right? So um, uh, yeah, we're gonna show you how it's done and uh, we'll get into it. Okay, so this is the bucket in question here and these are the teeth that we're gonna maintain um i wanted to do this now anyways because this bucket actually these pins are coming out i think they're called coil pins i'm not sure um i have the replacements for them uh on that one and this one they're starting to come out so uh, i gotta replace those anyways and i figured we might as well uh maintain the teeth while they're off anyways and i'll change these two as well um so what we're gonna do today is if you can see here there's like a bead that sticks out for grip and for strength and durability um and it wears down over time okay so it's almost flat now and uh, i was talking to an old farmer and he noticed it and he told me instead of just buying new teeth just re-weld the beads along the edge here so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pop these off and we're gonna take them over to my buddy frankie and he's gonna weld them for us because i can't weld worth a worth a, a a darn you know what i mean um so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna get a, a center punch and i'm gonna try to punch these out i don't know if i have a center punch that big i might have to use a bolt but uh yeah let's uh Let's set up and get that done now. So I have a small center punch. We're gonna see if that's gonna work. I don't know if it will, but it should. I think it did. There we go. So first one's out. Uh, pull that out. Get the second one out. Yeah, see these ones, I don't know if it's gonna pull these ones out. These ones were already loose, so I know they're coming out. Shame to take those out. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a bigger punch. Okay, so I don't have a big enough punch, uh, but this bolt should do. Smart guy. Okay, so that's one. I should probably use a real hammer because I'm using this thing and holding it backwards is it's not very comfortable. But whatever. smart guy would use some sort of penetrating oil so that's what I should use first is a penetrating oil clean it up anyways okay drove that one right into 
into the ground. Okay, so now we have all the teeth off and I'm gonna take them over to my buddy Frankie and we're gonna get them welded up. I uh, had to use some penetrating oil on that one because that one was really stuck. These two pins you can see are bent, so they're garbage. I'm gonna have to replace them for sure. I'm probably gonna replace these as well and I'll keep these for like a backup just in case. Um, and yeah, I got our fancy center punch there. And got the one that was too small to use, but yeah, get yourself a nice fancy uh, center punch just like that. Okay, so let's head over Frankie's. Day two. Okay, so change of plans. Uh, Frankie had to go to a service call. He had to fix a truck at a quarry because he's a heavy equipment mechanic, so he went to go do that. Uh, I removed the teeth a couple days ago, and now I'm bringing Frankie some welding rods. Uh, he didn't have the right ones, but Uncle Pete did, so I went over to Uncle Pete's house, grabbed the welding rods, now I'm heading over to Frankie's. I'm gonna put them in the oven, because uh, you gotta heat up these uh, welding rods before you use them, uh, so they're dry, no moisture on them. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, get back to you tomorrow when we're ready to weld. Day three. Okay, so we are on our way over to Frankie's now, and he's gonna help us weld up those teeth and I'm gonna give him a hand doing some other stuff, but I'm not gonna record that. He's gotta put a dump box on his truck or something. So I'm gonna help him do that. And then we're gonna get those teeth all welded up and uh, then we'll get them back on the excavator. So I'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys when we're over at Frankie's and we're ready to weld. Okay, so I made it over to Frankie's house here and uh, Frankie's gonna help me weld these teeth up. Uh, but first I'm going to get him to explain to me uh, what we're using and uh, the process that we're going to go through. So Frankie, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell me about this right here? Yeah, so okay. this is a rod oven here. We've left these rods in here for 24 hours and what it does, it keeps condensation level. And it's got a heating coil in it, plugs in at 110 and it keeps the rods at a perfect condensation level. We left them there approximately 24 hours. Uh, there. This is our welder that we're using down here, an old school primitive. Uh, right today we're going to run about 200 amps to do this. I have an old bendy. Okay. No school like the old school, eh? Yeah. What so, we're doing here today is there's wear on the outside of the teeth yep. as we can see it. And so we're going to try to build these edges up because they're wearing. These teeth get quite a bit of expensive nowadays and you can find them because they're built out of cast. Right, why buy new ones when you can That's repair the right. old ones, right? So what we're gonna do is build this outer edge up and add another cap on it. And because it's being utilized, this particular tooth is being utilized for log, we might put a bead along here to hold grip. Is right. our thought process. But we're gonna go from there and see how this is going to work. Okay, perfect. So first, uh, first we're gonna Clean them off with the grinder and a, exactly. and a sand uh, sandpaper yeah. blade. Yeah, I've got a tether disc. Just uh, so we get a good uh, right. a good connection. Yeah, and, and then, that's uh, pretty much what we're gonna do first. Okay, cool. So let's get it.
see if we have our little picker because that thing's worn out, a real metal one. Yeah. Next yep. time you ever go into uh, the area, I'll get you in your drive. Shout out to Uncle Pete. Frankie says he has good rods. Yeah. Thank you, Uncle Pete. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Good run. <laughs> Day four. Okay, guys, so I'm back in my house here. Um, uh, we got those teeth all welded up. Um, I haven't put them on. It's been a week or so since we did that. I haven't put them on yet just because I haven't needed them. Um, but I am going to put them on today because we have a couple jobs coming up where we're going to need those teeth. Um, I also broke my camera. Uh, in the process of the welding, uh, I don't know if you can see, but right there and there, there's a couple dots on the camera, and that's because uh, the smart cameraman forgot to put a cover in front of the lens while you're welding two inches from it. So that was pretty smart. Um, but uh, I got a new camera. I'm going to fix this camera. I'm going to fix the lens on it. I ordered the lenses, but it's a GoPro 7, so they're not easily changeable and uh they're not really accessible lenses either so it's going to take a while for them to get here in the meantime i did pick up a hero 10 and that's what i'm going to be using to film uh let, let me just wipe that smart ah that's much better much much better okay so let's get back into it now um here is okay so here's the teeth that we welded up, we made, we built these beads up, or Frankie built these beads up. I watched and wrecked my camera. Um, and yeah, now those have a lot more life in them than before. Before they were getting pretty close to, uh, to breaking through the metal or I don't know, bending or something. So these should work much better now. Uh, we're gonna put them in using new, I guess you call these coil pins i guess coil pins is that what they're called i don't know what they're called um but i think they're called coil pins uh here i'll show you yeah i think they're called coil pins uh i'm not sure if someone knows the name of them let me know but uh yeah we're gonna put these teeth back on with these new coil pins and hopefully they work Yikes, they look a little small. Okay, I also want to note, okay, these things aren't pretty. They don't need to be pretty. Uh, you know, we're not the best welders, but it got the job done, you know? Um, and to be honest, the, the more jagged and kind of worse it looks, I think the better it's going to grab onto a tree. So, yeah. It ain't pretty, but it will damn sure work. Okay, so we're about to put the teeth back on. And I don't know if you can see this, but I wanted to show you this. You see this right here? That's the line of where the tooth was wore down to before. This is all built out with, uh, with the welding rod. So you can see, you know, it's added like a half inch of material there. Uh, that's another half inch to wear down on the next time if you didn't do that. Believe me, that, that tooth would have been the first one to wear out for sure. Okay, so we're going to put these teeth back on. Okay, so I'll put the pins back in. Use a trusty stiletto hammer. This is the only kind of hammer that can do this job. Just kidding. pin is kind of loose I'm kind of worried about that pin um, I'm gonna have to I don't know I, I like widen these coils up somehow but uh, that that pin was loose before so maybe the inside of that uh, that uh, hole there is worn out maybe or I don't know but I'm gonna try to expand this pin a little bit uh, maybe mushroom it or something, I don't know.
Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the teeth on the excavator bucket refurbished. Uh, it just goes to show you, you know, you don't have to run out and buy a new part every time something like that comes up. If there's a, a solution that can be used without, you know, spending money at John Deere or whatever dealership you have to go to, then uh, try it first, you know what I mean? Uh, if you got a welder or you got a buddy with a welder, grab him a six pack, bring it over and say, hey, help me, uh, help me weld up these teeth and extend the life on them. Cause uh, you know, if I didn't do that, I would have had to run out and buy new teeth probably in a month or two from now. And uh, who knows with the supply chain issues and all this other stuff. So why not save a buck, right? What it cost me, a couple sticks of uh, welding rod and, uh, and a six pack of beer and uh, you know, uh, yeah. So if this is the type of content you guys like, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. We're trying to grow the channel. We have lots more stuff coming, more stuff on excavators and chainsaws and uh, cutting wood and just oh, tons of stuff. We got animals, we got uh, everything is coming. Now that I have a, a new camera to work with as well. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna be working on is my audio. I know I'm, I'm sorry, it's terrible, uh, but uh, I just, I don't have a microphone right now and i will get one i will get one but uh for now we work with what we have so hit that like button hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys on the next one